Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Pointless Podcast. Today, it is a pleasure, I'll tell you, in the pantheon of YouTube celebrities that I have had romantic relations with, Miss Hannah Hart is by far the most formidable and the third. Ladies and gentlemen, she is a phenomenal talent. She is 10 kinds of adorable, 11, if you count sipping from a mug. Uh Uh-oh. Go for it. This is my mug shot. Let him see it. Yo, Hannah Hart is here! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, thanks so much for having me on the show, guys. It was great. It was really great to have you here. Thank you so much, Hannah. And you can find her online on the YouTubes. And uh, that's about it. That's it. Camp Toyota. Com. Let's talk about it here because <laughs> you are, well, first of all, congrats on being a fellow Bay Area native. Bay, yeah. Area, Bay Arian? Yeah. You're from the Bay? Yeah, where are you from? I'm from Antioch. Oh, okay, yeah. That's yeah. like the Bay Area. Yeah, most people go like, oh, okay, and then they instinctively clutch their sides because they're expecting a shank to be in it. Yep, any yeah. second. Uh, Antioch, huh? But you're so, your meth is so full of tum-tum, you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> where are you? I'm from uh, Burlingame, California, which is where the It's It factory is. Ooh. Mm-hmm. So It's It's are actually made in San Francisco. Like they're sent, like lots of people don't know what It's It's are. Oh, they're the, they're the ice cream sandwich mm-hmm. cookie kind of thing, but with it's Dipped drizzled a layer of chocolate, mm-hmm. which will end up running down your arm mm-hmm. and into your elbow. And it's so amazing. Good. So, so good. But I can't believe that anything's made in America anymore. I thought it was like all lead paint from little Chinese children. There could be lead paint in the It's It, I would say. But yeah. it's, it's delicious. Maybe. So did you have many in It's It? growing up did you tour the it's it factory what was my favorite flavor i liked mint mm. yeah fucking spoiled listen to you <laughs> i liked mint. just a childhood of wealth and opportunity oh, what was my God, favorite God. flavor i don't know i had so many opportunities Jeez. growing up what was little hannah like what was it like growing up in, in burling burling game um it was good i think uh little hannah <laughs> was a rascal uh i remember i took a lot of walks as a kid went out did things threw rocks at stuff stole things Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then I grew up, and now I'm an adult. And we just made a movie. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to hop right into that? I was going to explore young Hannah more. What were you stealing and why? Um, Who oh, are you lashing out? Oh, Who hurt you? Oh, she's oh she's great. Uh, no, but I do remember one time that we were throwing water balloons. We climbed up to the top of our schoolyard. I was in elementary school. And we were throwing water balloons, chucking them off the top at these cars driving by. And we... We, and it occurs to me now as an adult how just incredibly dangerous that was yeah. to be throwing water balloons at moving vehicles from above because the drivers were like, wah, wah. So we missed more often than not. But one time it landed right on the windshield of a car. Uh, it was a truck, like a U-Haul type truck. The guy pulls over, immediately gets out of his car, sees us in that like scary monkey way. It was like, yeah. <laughs> recognition. Yeah. yeah. And then we ran. That was very Ace Attorney, the way you pointed, too, Duh! by the way. It was straight yeah. out of a Nintendo game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was, that was you didn't get caught, you know, in no trouble. I don't know. It all kind of gets blocked out from there. You haven't had a... <laughs> is that because of heavy drug usage? Because of there was a teenage pregnancy that went awry? <laughs> what blocked out this... I want to know what it was like and what were your folks like. I honestly and, remember... Uh, I just remember, like, me and my sister hid, and I think one of my friends got caught. Um, I think he just got yelled at. No, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And he didn't rat. He learned the most important lesson Yeah, it wasn't like, the other two over there. No, he was fine. He's a cool kid. Uh, And then you went to college to do college-y things. I did go to college to do college-y things. Um, I went to Berkeley, and I studied English literature and Japanese language. And then, uh, yeah, I lived abroad for a while, and then I was a translator, and then I went to New York. And then I made a video on YouTube, and now here we are. Uh, Just the way you delicately leapfrog over giant things in anybody else's life that would be milestones is fascinating to me. Then I got like, married, then I had my first child. Yeah, exactly. And then I lost the arm and <laughs> the arm and, and, and the torn I rock, but it's back now. This is all prosthetic. I can't feel anything. It's amazing. <laughs> um, you went abroad. Where? Japan? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, I lived abroad um, for a semester just as part of like getting the degrees and yada, yada, yada. And it was really cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm an excellent story. I college. lived in Japan, yada, yada, yada. Well, Yakuza tattoo, yada, yada. Woke up, bathtub, missing a kidney, surrounded by ice, yada, yada. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. But now YouTube. <laughs> uh, no, I, um, I, it was great. I lived in the countryside in uh, Yamanashi Gen in a little Bless town you. called Tsurushi. Ah. Uh, and it was. Uh, uh, yes. Nikoda Deska? 
do I have? Ikura Deska. Isn't that Ikura? how much? Uh, yeah, how much is it? Ikura? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're doing great. You si. said beer. I'm like, see. See, sip pointer. Si. <laughs> you said uh, beer, please. How yep. much is it? Yeah, you yeah. did great. Uh, what else do I know? But uh, when I first started studying, it's funny that you say C because when I first started studying Japanese, I'd only had ever studied French leading up to oh, that point. Okay. So I'd be like, Watashi wa hanahato desu. Evu? <laughs> <laughs> I had that. I was in the first time I visited Japan, we was like ordering soba noodles and I was like, uh, with Mizu konasai mm-hmm. and all this. Okay. And yeah, we're yeah. ordering stuff up. And then I was like, and someone had dropped it off and I was like, ah, gracias. Oh, yeah. And it's like I put like a, just a race. Japanese, oh, gracias, Anna. Oh, hi. Like, oh, right. Because the only other language was Spanish. So did you enjoy your time in Japan? Loved it. Yeah? Well, I mean, I had just been dumped for the first time in my life. So I was in like a crippling depression. What did that bitch do? What was her name? (gasps) Becky? Fuck Becky. Put it on the record. She was Japanese. It's terrible. Um, But so I... Were her genitals pixelated? No. No. So it's just a there rumor. There was one like black censored bar over <laughs> a very small portion of her channel, which made no sense to anyone because yeah. you could see everything else. Um, but no. Wait, I, so you met her while you were there? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I, so we met in college um, and, then, you know, there was always kind of like this time stamp on our relationship. But I didn't know it was a time stamp. I guess apparently to her it was a time stamp. Because when I left, she was such a wreck crying. And she's like, this is the end. of I was like, well, we'll do, I'll be back in like five months. What's the big deal? I was so naive. And I left and... So you thought, hey, we're going to boop, boop, We're going to press pause on this emotional TiVo. Yeah. I'm going to go over. I'm going to do some kabuki, we'll bow, have some sake. Yeah, we'll Skype or something. Yeah, I'll be fine. Then you'll be back. And she said, no, this is it. Well, she said, sure. And then as soon as I was gone, hooked up with some guy. And I was like, oh, heartbreak. Wait, so she was by? Yeah. I can't hate her then. I can't. I want to hate this person, but right? Like, you had me at hello. <laughs> <laughs> you had me at hello. What did, how did you let her go? I know. Well, no. So then so then I went to Japan, and I was here I was in the countryside. And I've never lived in a countryside of anywhere. Sure. I, I'm, you know, from the Bay Area. I mean, it just to be that far from, like, movie theaters and cultural activities right. and stuff like that. Um, so the first two months were really, really hard. I lost like 20 pounds. I just didn't eat. I was super miserable. All I did was study all the time. Just just terribly. And stalk her on Facebook constantly. Um, but then once you get into it, once you get past the culture shock, you get really into the mojo of it. Suddenly I was like, guys, guys, this weekend it's the elementary sports festival. We all got to bring something to the pot." 